Hi, this is Kelly from ProTech. This video is going to show how to connect your GFENCE 600Z to your computer. First thing we do, go into our control panel, go into Internet or Network and Sharing Center, then we're going to go to Change Adapter Settings. Go to our local area connection. Then we're going to go to properties. We're going to go to Internet Protocol version 4 and hit properties. And we're going to click on the use the following IP address. Type in address 192.168.105 and anything other than 202. And click OK. Then open your browser and type in that IP address 192 168 105 202. The username is going to be admin. The password will be four spaces. Once it comes up in the first tab, you can come down here and change your language from English, Spanish, and French. Select English, select Send. That will also synchronize your computer's clock with the clock of the GFENCE 600. If we go to our visualization tab, that tab is going to show you what is connected to this GFENCE 600. We have two sensors on detector cable one and no sensors on detector cable two. This page also shows how many zones you have and number of impacts it takes to trigger an alarm on that zone. So we can go first to zoning And the first thing you're going to want to do is go over here to delete zones and click send. Now we can start fresh. Go to zone one. We want zone one to be detection cable direction number one. And we're going to start with sensor one. And since we only have two cable or two sensors on our cable, we're going to end with sensor two. So now we have one whole zone for our detection cable. Next we can go to the settings tab. In this setting or in this tab you can change your sensitivity for your sensors. Um, you go to direction one configuration and click send. You hear the GFENCE 600 module beep. And that'll beep again. And then now you are in configuration. So you can select which sensor. You can change the sensitivity of one sensor or you can change the sensitivity of all of them. You can change it from one to 16. Sensitivity one doesn't hardly detect at all, 16 will detect very, very well. Uh, I think by default it comes at sensitivity 8. So you click on what you want it to be set at. You'll hear it beep. On this side, number of impacts is how many zones or how many impacts it takes in order to trigger an alarm. So if we change this to two, click send, then it takes two impacts on that zone in order to trigger an overall alarm. This box right here 
you can activate and disable the buzzer on intrusion. And we also have a history tab. It'll show you everything that's happened. It'll keep a thousand events. And once that's full, it'll delete the oldest and put in the newest. Your configuration tab is where you can change your IP address and change your password. That's it. Thanks for watching.